going to stop until we find you, John. Family and friends are searching for a missing man with Alzheimer's. He got lost in southeast Portland last night, and today search and rescue teams are trying to find the 70-year-old who may have very well spent the night in the cold. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock, everybody. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. We know John Scott was dropped off the Holgate Max station. That was around 1 o'clock yesterday. We also know it's his normal routine to then go to the Clackamas Town Center. Around nephew to say he was lost near the bike trail and police pinged his phone near southeast 92nd in Ramona but the search area is in fact moving today our core Harlan has more on this developing story the search for the missing Alzheimer's patient, 70 year old John Scott, shifted into a higher gear today. Multnomah County Sheriff's deputies joined Portland police focusing on an area around the Springwater Trail. Officers from Portland's East Precinct on all terrain vehicles motoring through heavy underbrush and overgrown fields near Johnson Creek and Southeast 102nd and Foster. We're looking for Mr. Scott all along. We're on the ATVs getting into the wooded areas back in some of the transient camps asking everybody if they've seen him. As police rode through the brush, Pacific Northwest search and rescue volunteers prepared for a ground search on foot from a command post along the Springwater Trail. Try to yell, try to scream wherever you are. Cheryl Hancock is a childhood friend of John's. We're all concerned. Who dropped him off at the Holgate Street Max platform early Monday afternoon. John was heading to Clackamas Town Center, part of his normal routine. I feel responsible for him being gone right now, you know, because I mean, if I would have known, lots to put on your shoulders. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and I just pray to God that somebody will find him very, very soon. What did he sound like? John's sure. nephew Eric sure. Hinsey talked sure. with John sure. just before midnight on the phone. Eric told me over the phone that John was ready to lay down in the grass near some water. He was tired and he was cold, and he, and he said he said uh, he can't move, he can't get up. It's a torturous wait for family to find you. and for John's friends like Cheryl Hancock, who screamed John's name as loud as she could into the empty wilderness near Johnson Creek. Please, we love you. The only thing she heard in return was her own silence. In Southeast Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.